Welcome to all of you who have come out today to take part in our first annual Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig's Winter Proclamation. Yay! Yay! Our celebration is a little different here in the Metau. The biggest difference between those other celebrations <laughs> and this one Yay! is that we won't cage our groundhogs here in Metau Valley! Yeah. Yeah. Here, here. Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig is free to be the best that he can be here in the valley by being free to roam his habitat. Wilbur is therefore deemed the most accurate predictor of winter's duration right here. Yeah. Yeah. We won't rely on the theatrical antics of an animal some 2,500 miles from here. <laughs> While others pretend to rap three times on a hollow stump to awaken their groundhog and then parade him around. <laughs> Our volunteer group of spotters have been out tracking Wilbur in the wild. Yay! Their collection of data has then been collected by our own Wilbur Whisperer, who is even now analyzing this data to translate for us what Wilbur has to proclaim about the future duration of our winter. Yay! And so, to Mr. Wilbur Whisperer, are you prepared to submit to me Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig's Winter Proclamation for the year 2011. I am. Yay. 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 Yes, please. Just before I hand this uh, proclamation uh, to the officiant, uh, we had uh, we did have some issues in the uh, tracking. And I just wanted to go over them real quickly with you. Uh, some of the tracks that were brought to my attention with gloves, I, I just can't do it with gloves. <laughs> were these, probably no surprise to all of you. No. These were spotted quite frequently. And all I can say about it is it reminds me of the story of the three guys from Tukwila who were out hiking and came upon a uh, line of tracks. And the first fellow says, uh, hey, look, deer tracks. And the second fellow says, those aren't deer tracks. Those are horse tracks. And the third one said, you're both wrong. They're rabbit tracks. Well, they argued like that for 10 minutes until they got hit by the train. <laughs> Then, uh, some of these uh, people around locally who don't get along with very well, um, the, uh, I'm going to mention them by name. Uh, Mr. Elmo Baccaroni from the Baccaroni Stables up at Elbow Cooley, I'm sure you know. He called me up and he said, I have some very interesting tracks to report to you. So I hustled over there. <laughs> and I said, you know, Elmo, what do you think, I'm stupid? He goes, yeah, I think you are. I don't think you know the difference between a horse and a, a duck. And I said, well, sure I do. A, a duck goes quack and a horse goes quick. <laughs> I said, well, why don't you, uh, Elmo, just stand behind that horse over there and tell me what you see. And he said, well, I, why would I do that? I said, well, I'm hoping you get a kick out of it. <laughs> And finally, I received a call from a Ms. Anita Bath from the Bath Hog Ranch down on East County Road, you all know her, who submitted this to me. And I said, Anita, I suppose you're going to tell me you got a ground uh, hog out there, which is like a hog on the ground, right? And she said, no, but what I do have is a pig that whistles. And I said, well, that's interesting. She said, I thought that you would be interested in a pig that whistles. And I rushed over there, and she said, well, go out there in the barn. You can hear him. So I went out there and just got disgusted. And I came back, and I said, Anita, that 
pig doesn't whistle. And we have no interest in that pig at all. She said, really? I said, yeah, all he can do is yodel. <laughs> With that, Mr. Officiate, the proclamation from Wilbur. Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig's 2011 Winter Proclamation. In this month of February, on its second day of the year 2011, I come before you, people of the Metau Valley, to testify and proclaim what we have discerned from our furry friend and resident rodent, Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig, yeah. regarding Yay. winter's future. Yay. Yay. From observers all up and down the valley, from as far as Moccasin Lake and Patterson to as close as Castle Avenue, and indeed this very place we are gathered. The statistics have been gathered and scrutinized. Today I am pleased to report that there were 32 observers wow. who took part in yeah. tracking Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> Proclamation. Clothed in winter's climb, we in Winthrop gather. For Wilbur the Winthrop whistle pigs matter. Having tracked on trails and skis and other tread, we group to hear human voice in Wilbur's stead. Some rejoice to hear that winter is fini. Others say, I have not yet begun to ski. <laughs> but Wilbur is to be only what he can and predicts without care or concern of man. So hear ye, hear ye, citizens of this valley, what Wilbur the Winthrop Whistlepig says to thee. It is now with great honor and in human voice, I am pleased to proclaim to you of Wilbur's choice. Thoughts of springtime chores bring me out to get started. But winter is here six more weeks till it has parted. Yeah!